Severus. I was beginning to worry you had lost your way. Come, we've saved you a seat. You bring news, I trust? It will happen Saturday next, at nightfall. I've heard differently, my lord. Dolish Theora has let slip that the porter boy will not be moved until the 30th of this month, the day before he turns 17. This is a false trail. The Aura Office no longer plays any part in the protection of Harry Potter. Where will he be taken, the boy? To a safe house. Most likely the home of someone in the Order. I'm told it's been given every manner of protection possible. Once there, it will be impractical to attack him. <clears throat> my lord, I'd like to volunteer myself for this task. I must be the one to kill. How can I help you, Mr. Potter? Well, actually, it was about something you were wearing around your neck at the wedding. It was a symbol. You mean this? Yes. That, exactly. What we wondered is... What is it? What is it? Well, well it's the sign of the Deathly Hallows, of course. The what? what? The what? The Deathly Hallows. The Elder Wand. The most powerful wand ever made. The Resurrection Stone. The Cloak of Invisibility. Together they make the Deathly Hallows. Together they make one Master of Death. What's wrong? Wrong. Nothing's wrong. Not according to you, anyway. But if you've got something to say, don't be shy. Spit it out. All right, I'll spit it out. But don't expect me to be grateful just because now there's another damn thing we've got to find. I thought you knew what you signed up for. Yeah, I thought I did too. Well, uh, I'm sorry, but I don't quite understand. What part of this isn't living up to your expectations? But did, did you think we were going to be staying in a five-star hotel, finding a Horcrux every other day? You thought you'd be back with your mum by Christmas? I just thought, after all this time, we would have actually achieved something. I thought you knew what you were doing. I thought Dumbledore would have told you something worthwhile. I thought you had a plan. I told you everything Dumbledore told me. And in case you haven't noticed, we have found a Horcrux already. Yeah, and we're about as close to getting rid of it as we are to finding the rest of them, aren't we? Please. Please take the whole crux. You wouldn't be saying any of this if you hadn't been wearing it all day. Do you know why I listen to that radio every night, dear? To make sure I don't hear Ginny's name. Or Fred. Or George. Or Mark. Oh, you think I'm not listening to? You think I don't know how this feels? Oh, you don't know how it feels! Your parents are dead! You have no family! Stop! Stop! Let <laughs> go! Go then! <laughs> 